Pencils down. That's right. Do not copy me. You will fail the quiz. Now, um, we are going to be solving logarithmic type equations. And we're going to throw in some exponential equations too. We have the type that have logarithms on both sides. We have the type that has logarithm on one side. We have a, a mixture, okay? Let's see how it works. All right, first we have one of the types with a log on both sides. If you have the same type of log on both sides, the number must be the same, okay? So this must equal that. So 2x minus 3 must equal 15. All right, that's the law. So add 3 to both sides like you do. And I'm going to get 2x equals 18. Dividing by 2, I'm going to get x equals 9. Now that's probably the answer. But you have to make sure that it works when you plug it in. So if I put in a 9 right there, then I've got uh, 2 times 9 is 18. Minus 3 is 15. And you see I got 15 and 15, so that's that's good. Can't be negative. If this was negative 15, no solution. Can't happen. All right. Let's look at number two. Now, this only has log on one side. Okay, so don't sit here and think, oh, okay, I'm just going to do 3x minus 1 equals 5. No, false, incorrect. All right, that's what you do when you have a log on both sides. If you have any more, like this one, log, log, set them equal. If you have only the log on one side, you are going to wind up rewriting this in exponent form. So in exponent form, see two is the base, so start with that, bring it down, straight down, boom. In exponent form, there is no log, so forget about that. And uh, this, these two things will trade places. Now, when this 5 comes over, it'll be the power. And so this will come over here. That's 3x minus 1. 2 to the 5th power, you could use your chart if you had to. Um, but uh, right now, you have a calculator. Anyway, it's 32. So 2 to the 5th power, 32 is equal to 3x minus 1. OK. Uh, I would now add 1 to both sides. So that's going to give me 33 is equal to 3x. Guess what? I divide both sides uh, by 3, get x by itself. And uh, that's going to give me 11. x is equal to 11. Okay? 3 times 11 is 33. Uh, minus 1 is 32. Uh, it's not negative, it's cool. Okay, um, number three. You got to get the uh, base and power by itself, all right? That part of it. So we have to divide both sides by three. Agreed. Okay, so that will leave me with e to the x power equals 14. Um, now, this is exponent form, so we will rewrite it in log form. Okay, when in doubt, try writing it in the other form. So for log form, we have base e, so that would be log base e. Okay, now these two are going to change sides, so that's going to be 14 over here, and the x is going to go over there. Now, feel free to skip this step. All right, uh, because log base e, we never write that down. Log base e is the natural log. So we would just put natural log 14 is equal to x. And this is great because we can just put that straight into our calculator. So natural log 14. Let's see, let's do two decimal places. Round appropriately. So 2.64. All right, that's it. It's just that easy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so number four. 
Alright, so again, this is one of those with the log on both sides. So that means that um, these two parts must be equal. If the logs are equal, then the, uh, the number part must be equal to the argument, it's called. Um, anyway, 5 minus 3x is equal to 4x minus 9. When you have the variable on both sides, take care of that first, please. So um, I would add 3x to both sides, me personally, because that's going to make positive numbers, and I like positive numbers. Be helpful, not hurtful. So that's going to be 7x minus 9. Then you would add 9 to both sides, like you do. Um, so that's going to be 14. OK, and then you divide both sides by 7. Okay, so that's going to leave me with x equals 2. Alright, let's check and make sure that um, this does not give us any negative answers. So if I take this 2 and I plug it back in, okay, if I put a 2 in right there, then that means I would have 5 times negative 3 times 2, right? Um, and that would be 5 minus 6. 5 minus 6, uh-oh, that's negative 1. Wow, you know, guys, we cannot have a negative number inside of a log. You can't take the log of negative 1. That's bad. Um, so right away, I don't even have to do anything else. Um, uh, this is what you call extraneous. Extraneous. So write down extraneous, cross it out, and put instead no solution. Okay, no solution. Alright, um, similarly, if I put in 2 right here, Okay, that would be 4 times 2 minus 9. That would be 8 minus 9. That would be negative 1. So true, we're getting the same number twice, but that doesn't help the fact that you can't take the log of a negative number. Okay, I mean, think about it. If you look at this, this is saying uh, log, and all, all if we put in 2, then this makes negative 1. So we have the log of negative 1, right? remember what this means this is base 10 so this means 10 to the what power is equal to negative 1 is there any number in the world that's uh, an exponent that's going to turn a 10 into negative 1 the closest you can get is the 0 power because if I do 10 to the 0 power what's that that's a 1 that's as close as you can get there's nothing, there's no power that's going to make this a negative 1. That's why uh, this, there's no solution. Okay, uh, hope you, I hope you get it. I think you get it. Most of you get it. Okay, let me ask you one question. Do you have a pencil in your hand? Throw it across the room. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not the way to learn, people. Do it yourself later. Um... If the logs are the same, okay, including the base 7, then the argument is the same. That blue part's called the argument. So that's going to mean a 3x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 2. When you have the variable on both sides, take care of that first. Let's subtract 2x from both sides. All right, now we only have the variable on one side. 3x minus 2x is just x. So x minus 1 is equal to 2. Add 1 to both sides. So I've got x is equal to 3. Now this might be the answer. Let's make sure we don't get a negative number. That would be 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 1 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. So I get 8 and 8. So that's OK. All right, number six. Notice the log is only on one side. 
we are not going to do 2x plus 3 is equal to 3. That would be totally and completely wrong. Please do not do that. If the log is only on one side, we will rewrite it in exponent form. Start with the base of 3. Boom. That's the base. In exponent form, there is no log. These two parts are going to change sides. So this 3 is going to come over here and become the power. This 2x plus 3 is going to come over here. 3 to the third power is 27. Okay, subtract 3 from both sides. So that's going to be 24 is equal to 2x. And divide both sides by 2. And you get x equals 12. All right, just make sure it's not a negative number. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 3 is 27. It's all good. All right, let's find number 7. All right, number 7. Log is only on one side. So that's when I rewrite this in exponent form, starting with the base. OK, bring down that 5. Um, in exponent form, there is no log these two will change sides. So the 2 is going to come over here, become the power. The 3x plus 1 comes over here. That makes 25 is equal to 3x plus 1. Subtract that 1 from both sides, and you've got 24 is equal to 3x. Okay, divide by 3 to get that x by itself, and you've got 8 is equal to x. All right, make sure it doesn't give you a negative number. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25, it's great. Number 8. Okay, this one we have any, we don't have any logs anywhere. We're going to make logs by rewriting this in log form. In general, if you see the variable up in the power, log form is the way to go. Right, Rosie? Remember we talked about that. So um, log form, start with the exponential side and write your log. Log base, 3 is the base, so log base 3. OK, now the x plus 4 and the 6 will trade sides. So the 6 will come over here, and the x plus 4 is going to come over here. Notice, this 6 is not a power. If I see this on your paper, OK, I'm marking it wrong, or I, I'm with extreme prejudice. This 3 is a base. It hangs low. This 6 is not an exponent. It sits on the same level as the LOG. It sits on the ground, OK, like an egg on Easter. Um, so y'all made me erase the whole thing. So that's going to be log base 3 of 6. Okay, so we're trying to get x by itself, so we would subtract 4 from both sides. So we have log base 3 of 6 minus 4 is equal to x. So change of base formula right here. So that's going to be log 6 over log 3 minus 4 is equal to x. Just type all this in your calculator. Okay, so I've got log 6 over log 3 minus 4. So that is negative 2.37. All right, please round properly. All right, if you put negative 2.36, you're losing points. You know, do it. Just don't do it. All right, so that's number eight. Um, let's find number nine. Okay, this is one of these with a log on both sides. If the log part is the same, 
then the argument is the same. Whoa. Slow down, brother. Uh, the, the argument is the same. So x plus 6 must equal 3x minus 4. When you have a variable on both sides, deal with that first. All right, subtract one of them. So that's going to give me 6 is equal to 2x minus 4. Okay, then I'd add 4 on both sides. So that's going to give me 10 is equal to 2x. Now I have to get x by itself. So I would divide both sides by 2. So that will give me 5 is equal to x. All right, make sure it doesn't make a negative number. 5 plus 6 is 11. 3 times 5 is 15. Minus 4 is 11. So that's OK. It should be the same number, but never negative. Um, and the last one. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. 17x plus 2 equals 2. What did I just do wrong? You cannot set these equal to each other when you only have a log on one side. It has to be log on both sides. All right, if it's only on one side, what do we do? You rewrite it in exponent form. That's what you do. Starting with the base. How low can you go? So that 6 is the base. Bring that down first, straight down. Uh, exponent form doesn't have a log in it, so get rid of that. This and this will change sides. So the 2 comes over here and will become the exponent. All right, then I'll have 17x plus 2 over here. Of course, this is just 36, 6 squared. All right, time to subtract 2 from both sides. So that's going to give me 34 is equal to 17x. And we divide both sides by 17. So that will give us 2. OK, x equals 2. Now just make sure you don't get a negative number. 17 times 2 is 34 plus 2 is 36 it's all good all right that's the last problem I hope you weren't just copying off of me because um, that's lame and bad okay I will see you on the next video this is easy am I right don't you wish you had a whole quiz on uh, just on this I know you do